Well, confession brings holiness to your life because you can only concentrate on the holiness of God if you're truly repentant. If you're joining us in reading through this month's reading plan, today's reading is Ezra 9, 1 through 15, and I encourage you to read that passage. Well, because of their sinfulness, the tribes of Benjamin and Judah have been taken into captivity by the Babylonians. Now, 70 plus years later, Ezra is confronted with a situation that is not dissimilar to what we are experiencing here in the United States. Those who returned from Babylon intermarried with those who did not have a covenantal relationship with God. Well, because of the mixture of the two communities, there was a risk that those who returned would ultimately fall away from following God. We as Christians are to be holy. We're to be consecrated to God. We're to seek Him out in all aspects of our life. But today, in many places, that used to be solid Christian, there is a <coughs> tendency to minimize the intermingling of that which is holy and that which is not holy. We tend to look at holiness as a moving target. Well, we as believers can be holy, but it takes considerable effort to do that. We must be very careful as to what we see, hear, touch, and taste. And anything can lead us away from holiness. At the time, it's a very little thing that starts the process and it grows without our really thinking about it. Well, there's an old story about cooking a frog. If you place the frog in cold water and solution up the heat, the frog will not recognize when it's beginning to get too hot and he'll eventually die simply because he didn't recognize the danger. That's a very similar situation in which Christians can be placed. It doesn't take much to start us on our way to non-holiness, if that's a word. A little innocuous thing that we can take into our hearts can grow into a huge tree. It's hard to be holy. It takes work and it takes perseverance. So keep your eyes on Jesus, keeping your eyes on the prize, because when you look down or to the left or right is when you're going to fall. <music>